everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today we're going to be learning about the different types of soil. Different types of soil hold moisture and nutrients differently. This means that different types of plants may like to grow in them, depending on what they need from their soil. There are six different types of soil we're going to cover today, so let's dig in. First on the list is sand. Like the name suggests, sandy soil is mostly made up of, wait for it, sand. Because of the fine grains, water drains through sand easily, which keeps it dry. Because of this, you can easily get a fork through it. For some plants, like cacti, this is a good thing because they don't like soil that can hold a lot of moisture. So for them, sandy soil would be ideal. Generally, if you want to plant things in sand, you'd have to water them very well and add in a fertilizer. This is because the nutrients in sand are easily washed away when they're watered. Second on our list is clay. This is the trickiest type of soil to work with. Clay-based soils are known for being cloddy thanks to their ability to hang on to water. A clod is another name for a lump or a mass. Of course, this means that they can become waterlogged or muddy really easily, which is a nuisance for gardening. On the upside, clay-based soils hold on to nutrients really easily, so you'll have to add in fewer nutrients to help support crop growth. If you're trying to figure out whether a soil is clay or not, you can try the ribbon test. To do this, pick up a handful of it and then try to roll it into a ribbon-like shape. If it falls apart really quickly and it doesn't bind together at all, you might be working with sand. If you're able to roll it into a ribbon and it holds its shape, this might mean that it's clay. If it sort of holds together a little bit before crumbling, then it may be a different type of soil. The next type of soil on our list is loam. Loam soils are a good mixture of sand, clay, and silt. This soil holds onto its nutrients and usually keeps enough moisture to give plants what they need. It also drains nicely, helping it avoid waterlogging. This makes loam soil an allotment's best friend when it comes to growing crops all year round. Our fourth type of soil is silt. With medium-sized particles, silt soils are good at holding onto enough moisture to avoid waterlogging, but to also give plants the moisture that they need. However, the particles do allow silt soils to be compressed or squashed down very easily. This can make it difficult to dig, plant, and de-weed. On a positive note, it tends to retain enough nutrients to keep it fertile, and this supports crop growth. Our fifth type of soil is chalky soil. As you may expect, chalk-based soils contain a lot of calcium carbonate, which is what chalk is. It can be challenging to grow plants in these kinds of soils because most plants prefer something a little bit more acidic. Because chalky soil is more alkaline, plants that grow in it can have yellowish leaves or stunted growth. However, fertilizer can be used to help balance the pH levels in the soil, which can avoid this. Water also drains quickly through chalk-based soils, which can make it a little bit hard for plants to get the moisture they need from it. Our final type of soil we will talk about today is peat. What happens when mosses, shrubs, and grasses die? They form peat. Peat is very rarely found naturally in an allotment plot. It's generally formed near bogs and marshlands. Here, plants don't fully declay, which leaves the matter that's left behind full of nutrients. Gardeners will often choose to buy peat and add it to their existing soil to help improve the fertility. And there you have it. That's my summary of the six different types of soil and their properties. I hope you feel a bit more confident now identifying some of the differences and similarities between them. If you'd like to learn more, there are a bunch of resources on the Twinkle website that look at soil. So if you're interested, make sure you check those out. This includes these fact cards, which go over the different types of soil that we talked about today. They can be really handy in helping you revise and go over this information. Just print them out and off you go. We also have PowerPoints, sorting activities, and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you take a look around if that's what you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.